Uh, my name is Joanna Landau. I'm the founder and executive director of Kinetis. We're an organization that is trying to change the way people think and feel about Israel, both internally within Israel and outside of Israel. Uh, our major project, which we operate through a separate charity called Vibe Israel, is a program to bring online influences to Israel. Each time we choose a different topic, this time the topic was wine, uh, and we identify the leading bloggers in the world who are writing about this topic, the leading people who online have the strongest amount of followers. So we're talking about millions of followers in this particular group that we brought. We have over 10 million followers of these four bloggers. So we're talking about real influentials. We bring them to Israel, we let them experience Israel for themselves through the people in the wine industry, not through us because we're not professionals in the particular field. And then they get the sort of the spirit of the place, they enjoy the uh, professional experience, the culture, and then they write about it in their blogs uh, and they tweet and they Instagram post and uh, post on their Facebook. And the result on average has been about 25 blog posts per tour, which is very, very significant considering that we only bring, uh, you know, very few people and bring them for a short time. So we get a great, uh, what's called bang for our buck. Uh, and it's been really successful, so this tour has been about wine, so I'm really excited. Um, Mikel here from Spain, who's actually originally from the United States, yes, right? California. Um, California. We have um, David and Richard and Erica, all of them from the United States. They, all four of our bloggers, are writing for very, very significant and influential um, blogs slash online platform slash whatever anybody wants to call it. Uh, uh, we love our bloggers. Uh, so what we do each time is we choose a different topic. So for example, the next topic that we're going to do is about photography. Uh, this topic was about wine. The last topic was uh, we brought triathlete bloggers to experience the Israman competition, which is the seventh most difficult Ironman competition in the world. And we bring them to Israel completely on our, at our expense and basically connect them to anywhere between 20 or 30 Israelis who are representative of the what we believe is the creative energy of Israeli culture, environment and so on. And during the trip we um, focus on trying to find the most innovative, creative, entrepreneurial things that we can. Uh, we look at uh, the people themselves, um, how charismatic they are, how professional they are, and make sure that the meetings that uh, the bloggers have with them are really you know the best that one could possibly show. It's really as if you would bring five of your best friends to Israel and show them what they're really interested in. So because we believe in niche marketing, we believe in coming up with a different topic every time. That's why sometimes people don't hear of us because now the wine industry knows us, they didn't know us before. Uh, the sports industry didn't know us before the sports industry. We, we prefer a very targeted market. We prefer a community that's interested in a particular topic. And then we can really have a conversation because what we're interested in is building relationships and creating connections for Israelis with these great bloggers and it yields wonderful, wonderful results online and offline as well. Uh, the funding is completely uh, from uh, um, philanthropic um, and also a little bit of uh, municipal government support, not very much. We cap it at 25% because we're a non-profit and we also want to maintain our independence. So we have foundations uh, from around the world and private individuals who provide us with the funding to do these tours. Uh, and um, the idea is really that um, Israel has a story to tell and it's, it's telling it but in a very, very, very narrow context which is the context of the conflict. And what we believe in is a much wider context. It's not on account of the context of the conflict, it's in addition to. Because Israel is a mosaic of very, very many different things to offer. Uh, and unfortunately, the, the wine, the food, the fashion, the sustainability, the business, millions of other things are not getting enough attention. And so people who care about Israel, who care about Israel's reputation, get on board and just like any other country, want to show what this country has to offer. The manager of the Vibe Israel program uh, is called Adi Kapla. Uh, and I'm going to reserve my uh, thanks to, uh, to Adi Koren, uh, the uh, current uh, tour manager, to the end. I'm keeping it, keeping the right. Um, so we've done tours in a variety of areas from fashion to indie rock music, architecture, sustainability, social entrepreneurship, food. We've suffered tremendously for, what, two and a half years that we've been doing this project. We're completely full and right now we've had too much wine to even remember what we're meant to say. Um, but I really wanted to say a few thanks to uh, uh, several people. So firstly, I'd like to thank Oded Shoam from the Israel Wine Experience, who is actually uh, our wine host for this evening. All the wine that we're drinking this evening 
uh, was actually provided by the Israel Wine Experience, and we're very, very grateful to Oded uh, for getting on board with it. Um, thank you to the photographers. We have wonderful photographers who join us for the whole week. Um, tonight, uh, Ol Kaplan and Noah Mager are not here with us, but we have the fabulous Cecilia Koren, uh, who volunteers and joins us uh, to take pictures and, and to really document our trip, and it's really, really important, so thank you, Cecilia. Thank you to the wonderful, wonderful hotels that have been hosting us. We started at Kramim Hotel, the Israel Hotel, uh, which is really based on, on wine, um, near Jerusalem. After that, we were at Mitzbeer Yamim, and now we've culminated the trip at the wonderful Brown TLD Hotel. What a great uh, way to end the trip. We were very lucky to have a wonderful workshop with Eris Komorovsky. Thank you to Inbal and Meital, who helped us get uh, 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 to that together with the Ramata Golan Winery. Of course, thank you to all the Israeli wine people, uh, whether it's bloggers, journalists, people who are in the field for, for a variety of reasons. You celebrated and hosted us tremendously well. Uh, I hope that our bloggers enjoyed meeting you, enjoyed connecting with you, and to discover the relatively, I know, new region of wine in Israel, but we're certainly showing, I think, our potential, uh, and uh, I hope that uh, we'll get a lot of uh, uh, benefit out of this trip. So thank you very much to all the wineries. Of course, thank you to the Kinetis team. Uh, we believe that if we have a message about Israel, that it's uh, a warm country, a vibrant diversity, the energy here, uh, the creativity, the innovation, that message can't just be packaging, it's also something that we ourselves feel about Israel, it's about our current Israeli identity. Uh, and we have a whole educational department which is headed up by Michal Malinovich, who's standing here. Um, she is focused on how do we uh, get the message about Israel to the Israelis themselves. Uh, so Michal is here, we've got uh, Amit over here who runs our Kinetis Youth Forum, we work with high school students, uh, we have uh, workshops with uh, soldiers, we have a program at the university. Uh, Adi Koren is also involved in that, so Adi's a, a double whammy tonight. Uh, we also have uh, Yara, who has joined us recently, she's our external relations manager. We're um, launching a uh, Friends of Kinetis uh, in Israel, and we're actually launching one in America as well, because we need everyone's support to continue doing what we're doing. Uh, we have Tali, our office manager, who is always very, very important and instrumental in everything that we do. She's the focal point and certainly is of uh, a great help. And her daughter was sick this week, so we appreciate that you were still there for us. Uh, we have Jonathan from our social media, who was definitely uh, part of the trip this week and, and, and is constantly with us. And we also have uh, some of the people from our advisory board, and we have some of the people who are founders of the... Uh, um, charitable organization Vibe Israel so thank you very much to all of you who are here and last but certainly 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 not least is Adi Koren come over here Ooh. Adi has worked very hard on this tour we in fact were going to uh, do it in August last year yes yeah August uh, but there were specific bloggers that we wanted to, to come and so we delayed it until that we were able to do the tour and uh, really basically Adi's been working on this for about eight months because we had to update a few things so well done for all the managing of the whole thing, of planning it, of researching, of being with our bloggers throughout the whole week. Thank you for everything that you do, and uh, you're really fabulous. A round of applause for all <laughs> Finally, thank you to our bloggers. Uh, we really, really appreciate that you took the time, you took a week off your busy schedule, you came to Israel, you met the people, you experienced the wine. Thank you, Richard. It, it really has been a treat. We really appreciate uh, uh, the organization for inviting us, for hosting us. We've learned a lot in a very short period, uh, thanks to everybody's generosity and in sharing not only wine, but uh, a tremendous amount of information and wisdom. Uh, there's a lot of great things going on here. Um, and this is unusual. I mean, I've, I've visited lots of wine regions and, uh, and to have people come together and sort of support each other and, and tell us about what's going on, even if it's not their own wines, is uh, fairly unusual. So, and to have so many people who are wine experts sharing, you know, what they what they know and secret finds that they found has been uh, really good. So it's up to us to, to write something worthwhile uh, for uh, the public and help them educate, uh, help them understand uh, Israeli wine much better. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Richard is very, uh, was being very humble. He has his own, uh, his own blog, and 
He writes a weekly column for the Huffington Post on uh, wine, so, uh, and he tastes 7,000 bottles of wine a year. So I think about 1,000 of them were done this trip. So if you want to know a little bit more about what we do, you can go to our website. It's kinetis, K-I-N-E-T-I-S, dot org, dot I-L, O-R-G-I-L. You'll find uh, information about the entire organization. Specifically, if you're looking for the Vibe Israel project, there's a whole section there under projects called Vibe Israel. You can learn about each tour that we've done. We have a Facebook page in the name of Kinetis, Instagram, uh, you know, uh, Twitter, Kinetis Team is our hashtag and our, um, you know, our name on those uh, social media platforms. And please come and have a look at what we're doing because we need you as well to join us. Thank you all. Enjoy the wine. Enjoy the evening. And see you on our next trip.